Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Live in the Classroom. We're live in the classroom today at Clearbrook High School in Miss Lisa Richardson's Math Models class. We're so excited to be here today. Thank you. And you came dressed up. Tell us <laughs> what you are. What is this? <laughs> well, our warm-ups have themed with sushi. Um, really, I got some ginormous playing cards from Five Below, <laughs> <laughs> and they were sushi-based. So Perfect. I like to kind of dress up to the themes and kind of make it a little interesting for them and me. Awesome. So, yeah, and it's Halloween, so it fits the, the season as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's so, why. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so we're in your math models class. What is this class? Uh, math models is basically mm -hmm. just more fundamental math for high school math. It's to strengthen our um, math skills to go on and move on with math, be able to, um, you know, just continue to drill in the important concepts, those those supporting standards and readiness standards. You know, just building them to be able to master those. Okay, and so what are we learning about today? So today we are doing um, where they are solving. It's actually called literal equations, and they're solving for a specific variable. But I stress a lot of solving for y, and it's actually simplifying for y. But kids understand it as solving for y, and it's really the basis of all graphing in high school math and college math. And so we do a lot of specific, having them master that skill before they go on to doing it with two points on a graph and writing the equations and things like that. And I just like to make sure that they can master it, they have all the time they need, and uh, that way they're able to move on. And then when we get to the harder skills where they have to use it, it's the second thought because they've got it down. All right, so we saw a little bit of the warm up earlier. What will we see in the lesson today? So in the lesson today, they are gonna have their worksheets and um, they will start, you guys, y'all ready? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Real life. Uh, we'll go over the warm up in just a second. Tyson, would you like to begin for us, please? Sure. Thank you, sir. All right, sorry. <laughs> and what we'll do is they are going to be um, doing a, a number of problems, mm -hmm. and they will be putting them into Y equals, and then they are going to put them into a Google document. I'm sorry. A Excel document, okay. mm -hmm. and it will fill out pixels for them to complete a picture. I like to awesome. make a lot of my assignments as self-check mm -hmm. and uh, let them be able to check their answers right away and then have that satisfaction of something at the end. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. it looks like they're getting a little antsy, so yeah, let's get started. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Yeah. Okay. So we know that this is an X, right? So what do we have to do? Coach, will you make sure he's doing well, it right? So we're going to minus one X, right? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so 35 so minus 1x is negative 1x. Now, Marie, you can't put them together because they don't have the same what? Oh, last name. And then when they're right next to each other, what are they doing? How do we get rid of multiply? The there you go. You have to get the y by itself. So okay. if it's a negative 11, what should you do? Or subtract Well, what are they doing? They're multiplying. When the number and the letter are next to each other, they're multiplying. How do we get rid of multiply? Divide. Divide. Good. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Tyson. Oh, and he remembered his negative. So we see that a lot. You want me to take over? You want to finish? You got it? Okay. All right. Hey, you got it. And then since it's the two negatives, it equals a positive. So it's 1 over 11. Okay. Because you can't, that's, it's a, the simplest form. Mm -hmm. And if we're not sure, what can we do to find out if it's in the simplest form? Math and inner, good. Yeah. And then um, this one, I already did in that calculator, mm -hmm. and you can't, it's, that's already at it. You can't do any more to it. Okay. It'll, 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 so is that the lowest form? Correct. Is that the reduced form? Awesome. Very good. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tyson. At the count of three, let's give him a clap. One, two, three. Good, good. Excellent work. All right. Did anybody do 35 divided by 11 into a decimal for me? Yes. What was it? Negative 3.18 something. Negative 3.18. All right, so I like y'all to see that as well because we want to see where it is on the graph, right? All right, let's do our next one so that we can get y'all to y'all's major grade. All right. What does PEMDAS tell me I have to do first? Distribute. Distribute, parentheses. 10 dances with the X and gives me a what, Devin? Awesome. Okay. And then 10 dances with the, oh, that's a tough one. How do we enter that in the calculator? Okay. And what did that give me? Negative 30. Y'all agree? Jaden? Good. Okay. 
and then we have y minus 2, okay? Is our y by itself? No. no. Courtney, what's next to our y? A negative 2. How do we get rid of a negative 2? Add 2 in the hard problem. Let's go to Isaiah. Am I going to line that 2 up under the 10 halves or the 30? Am I going to line that 2 up under the 10 halves or the 30? The 30. The 30. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. And what's my answer? Negative 30 plus 2 is? Good. Excellent work, guys. Good job. All right, take out your laptops and go to It's Learning. We're going to download the assignment from It's Learning. I'm going to guide you all through it. If you don't have a laptop, go grab one, please. Uh, Coach, would you erase that for me, too, please? Yes. Whenever it's like in there like this, because I already know that you can put five. Can I just put five? Yeah. It would. But I'm fine with the, the concept. Usually it's not like that. Does that make sense? It's because of the cards. Yeah. Well, because of the cards, the way we solved it. it. On the but test, on it would be that. Problem, be yes. Very good question, Tyson. Very good. Okay, guys. Y'all ready? All right. Let's all go to It's Learning. Let's all go to It's Learning. All right, and do y'all remember how to download? Do y'all remember? From the first one, where are we going to go to? The three dots, very good. And then we're going to download. Where are we going to save it? To the desktop so we can get out, so we can do it several times, correct? All right. I have a tough time loading. Do you want me to get you one of mine? Yeah, okay. I think that these are easier to work on for Google anyways, right? Yeah. And just save it to the desktop and it'll come up on any of them, okay? Excellent. Guys, y'all need help? Y'all need to make sure. Y'all need to make sure. Yes. Okay, guys, it becomes a huge document, okay? Do y'all see it? Make sure you download it, Jaden, or it won't work right. I don't think you downloaded it. I think you just viewed it. Oh, you are doing it right now? Okay. Guys, make sure you download it. Don't just view it because you want to see the whole picture. All right. Do you need help, Jerry? Okay. Let me come right over there. You go to the three dots. So you hit 3.1. You go to the three dots and you do download. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, save it to your desktop so you can access it each day, and it saves it each day. Yeah, save as. Good. And go to your desktop. Because remember, y'all are going to save it so you can submit it later after you finish. This is so you can work on it for multiple days, and it's easy to get to. Did you get it, Anthony? Good. Yeah. You getting it, babe? Good. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing now. I know y'all had to turn your laptops on. Anybody else need help getting it? So you're going to save as, and then you're going to go browse, okay? And you're going to go desktop. Yeah, just save as, and we'll, you'll, we'll save it with your name later. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me get you all's papers, coach. Let's get them their papers so they can get started. All right, guys, I'm going to give you your paper copy to write on. If you want to write it on your desk, what do you need to do? Get a marker. <laughs> but what do you need to do before you erase it? Yeah, show me your coach and have us sign off on it, correct? What do you need, babe? I'll, go, I'll get them for you. Yeah, I'll get them for you. There you go. All right, just make sure we sign off on it. We don't mind if you write them on your desk. Just make sure we sign off on it. Jaden, did you want a marker? Or are you good? You do it on paper? Okay. All right, are y'all ready to do number one? Did everybody get it open? Yeah? Okay. I want to warn you, guys, 
that it is a very big document. Do you see how many little dots there are on there? It takes it a while to load. So please be patient. Give it a second after we put our answer in to actually load, okay? So let's go to our problem. And I'm going to do it over here so that you guys can um, have it for, for reference when you go back. It's already completed. Oh, this is just like our first warm-up question, isn't it? How convenient. All right. So what do we need to get by itself? I can't do it on that. Yeah. Okay, the Y. So what do we need to get rid of? The X. How do we get rid of the X? Subtract. Good. Okay. Charlotte, can I put that negative 18 and that X together? No, why not? Because they don't have the same uh, variable. They don't have the same variable. Good. Okay. Now, when the number and the letter are right next to each other, Alicia, what are they doing? What are they doing? Multiplying. Multiplying. What do I do to get rid of it? Divide. Divide. Very good. Okay, good. Good. Ooh, some of y'all have already gone through it. Nice. Good job, Courtney. All right. And what are we left with over here? Okay. Well, we reduce those, right? So those are reduced. So we have y equals, what did two negatives become? Five. And what's my fraction? One over six. One over six. X. Good, Jaden. And what's negative 18 divided by negative six? Three. three. Positive three. All right, let's plug that in and see if it works. Remember, it's going to take it a while. It's going to take it a while to populate. Did you get it? Yeah, okay, good. Anthony, you got it? Downloaded? Okay, good. Excellent. Coach, I forgot to erase that. Yes, but it will. Okay, so that's a good question. He asked, is it going to change color? What did we learn last time? What happens? It should change to what? Black. Black. How do I enter the divide? Slash, right? If we forget our X, is that the correct problem? No. So we're going to hit enter. And does it populate? Yes. yes. And it might take some time on yours. Give it time. We also notice there's a particular problem. I think problem five takes forever to load. There must be a lot of pixels. All right. It should. Sure. Yeah, you got to just give it a second. It's just, it's just see how big it is. It's just such a big document. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys. So, okay, so I had a question about the picture. What was I dressed as this morning? Could it be possible that the picture is like that? Could it be possible that I'm just messing with your heads? Excellent. Excellent. I think it's going to be Simba. Oh, because it was Mufasa last time. <laughs> Good guess. Good guess. Okay. Let's get to work, guys. Call us over if you need help. Okay. Need some help, Jerry? Okay. Let's do this next problem. What do we need to get by itself? By itself, the X. No, the Y. No, no. Yeah, the Y? Yeah. So what do I have to get rid of? No, I want the Y by itself. So what do I have to get rid of? What's by it? Yeah. So what are you going to do? Gentlemen? Hey. What are y'all doing? What do you need? A charger? Why are y'all fighting with each other while we're on Facebook? Seriously? I know. I'm being recorded, but... Hey, guys, guys. All right, let's do our work. Problem number three. Let's go. Problem number three. Let's go. Problem number two. Problem number two. Let's go. No, number two. Number two right here. What do I want to get by self? Okay. So what do I need to get rid of? Good. Good. Oh, good. Oh, you don't even need me over here. Good. <laughs> okay, so now what are we left with? Okay, so y equals, okay, negative. Okay, so what's left here? If you're not sure, right, go to the calculator. Right, we're going to type it in. Okay, what do I have to hit to make sure it's reduced? 
Reduced? Yeah, what, how did I change it back to a fraction? Uh, what, what did they tell us? Uh. Yep, math, enter, enter. So that is the reduced fraction, right? Okay. And then you had negative 21 divided by 3, and what did that give me? Negative 7. Negative 7. Okay, so type it in and see. Yeah, absolutely. What you got? Sorry, Devin, I'm going to clear behind you. Yeah, no, it takes it a while because the pixels are so big. Yeah, give it a second. Just give it a second. Yeah, it'll take a second. It'll take a second. Yeah. Three and five take a bit. Yeah, just give it a second. Okay. It must have a lot of squares. All right, what do I want to get by itself? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you did that right. Good. Okay. All right, so when the number and the letter are right next to each other, what are they doing? Uh, multiply. How do you get rid of multiply? Divide. Divide. Uh, okay. So y equals, what's that? Um, what's the number in front of x? Uh, one. Okay, so I have negative 1. Negative 21 divided by 3 is? Uh, <laughs> do it in the calculator. It's fine. Yeah, do it in the calculator. It's fine. It's it's a it's a Thursday morning, <laughs> right? It is Thursday. <laughs> Negative seven, right? Oh, that one's got a thing on it. Okay, so now type that in. Let's see if that's it. Is y by itself now? Can you do it. No, you don't bring down zero. You didn't need the zero for anything. Yeah, good. Type it in. Try it. Excellent. You minus 3x? Okay, look at this right here. Yeah. Okay, but do we ever write the divided by 1? Yeah, so we just use a, yeah, yeah, there you go. So try that. And it takes it a second to load. This one's a big one, okay? Yes, Charlotte, what you got? Okay. Okay. So you minus your x, you minus your x, you divide it by 3. That looks good. Oh, look, look. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Now try it. See if it works. Yeah, it takes it a long time. Are you on number three, Anthony? Yeah, give it a second because look how big the document is. See? Negative six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it a second. Go on to the next one, babe. We've been live in Miss Elisa Richardson's in that bottles class at Clearbrook High School. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up, and we'll see you next time.